One, two, three, clap. I don't know if that was early. I couldn't hear the clap in my... It matched up perfectly with me and it sounded perfect. Oh, good. Perfect. Hi, and welcome to Hey Buddy, Nice Podcast. Over there in Scotland, the person who's turned me back around to clapping at the intro of Hey Buddy, Nice Podcast, that's Brogan Hastings. (laughs) And over there in Australia, (laughs) cursing me for making him clap, it's Wayne Giovanazzi. I just said I was on board. You are See, this happens every time. The people always turn it around on me. Like, (laughs) mate, it's... It's because, it's because for so long, I'm like, yes, I'm an asshole. I'm the asshole. Whatever it is, it's my fault. <laughs> so then it, then it's like, now when people say it, I just take it for fact. Oh, Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> that felt, that felt uh, very much like a conversation you and I had recently. <laughs> where you were, you were like, why did you not go to the golden retriever thing in Scotland? Oh, yeah. And, yeah, you, I saw, it's, <laughs> and the conversation ended with, you would tell me if you were a golden retriever, right? And I yeah, read the message because... and didn't answer. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I saw it and I sent you a picture. It's like, why did you not go to this Golden Retriever convention in Scotland? Mm-hmm. And you just replied, uh, I'm not a Golden Retriever. <laughs> no, I think, because I, I was like, I didn't know Well, that was your first this. response. What the fuck? Yeah. Now I'm like, look about it, like, where the <sighs> fuck is it? It's like, cause why, did, why I did I not know about the Golden Retriever Retreat. Why am I only hearing so about this now? Doggos. Why do I have to hear about so it? So many doggos. Why do I have to hear about it from an American? You heard about it third hand. I know. I'm not American. Australian. Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, buddy. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> that was a completely accidental slip. Of the I was like, this is literally yeah, the you... first I've heard of this. What the fuck? And you're like, yeah, it's an anniversary yeah. thing in Scotland. And, it, and I'm like, yeah, in yeah, the Highlands. It, yeah. It was third hand information. But, mm-hmm. So the Highlands is basically another country then? The Highlands is like the north of the north. <laughs> Highlands. Highlands. How you doing? It's like a good... Oh, you know, people are stabbing swords in me just to take photos. <laughs> yeah, I've got these crumbling castles on me still. People just like, why, why, I just want to climb the stairs. It's, like, it's a bit inconvenient for me. There's so many sheep. No, co- coos. Is, is there sheep? Is there sheep there as well in the Highlands? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was your friend that said, uh, because Brogan isn't a golden retriever, obviously. Ah. Uh, was it? Okay. Yeah. And I and I was like, aha, uh-huh. yeah, of course, def- definitely not. You're like, you, you yeah. tell me if you were, right? And then I read the message and didn't reply. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, this is giving me flashbacks of, um, what, what, what does that mean, Brogan? What does what that does mean? mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wimdy Ginger. Wimdy Ginger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, oh, I got th- confused with that Golden Retriever thing because when you're sending screenshots of messages between multiple people, it starts to get confusing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think we're, we're almost due for an updated Wimdy Ginger in a couple of weeks. Nah. Yeah. I'm happy sharing the same but. Oh, God, no. No. You were saying someone else for August. Oh, no. No, you won't be August, boy. But someone has a birthday coming up. Yeah, that's me. But- yeah. Th- that means August. Okay, no, so there's someone no. else for. It's you. You won't. You won't be Mister August, but you, you'll get a separate post. But why? <laughs> what did, how did I wrong you in the past? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> because you're my friend and I love you. You will suffer through this. Remember that face that I said that I kept making. <laughs> This is like it's the exact same situation, and that con- that, that 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 people are laughing because like, why is he doing that? It's funny, but no, you don't know. We had another conversation earlier mm-hmm. that your ears are not privy to, and I don't even think it's in bonus content. So, oh well. <laughs> this episode feels a bit odd. Yeah, <laughs> it started really strange. Yeah, <laughs> you know what it is? I worked it out. I'm not drinking Pepsi Max. Ah, what are you drinking? Pepsi Max Vanilla. Ooh. Mmm. It's new. Mmm. It's it's okay. It's... What was the wide-eyed? Were you looking at the screen behind me? Yeah. It it just flashed and I was like... And you turned to look at it and I was like, what? Yeah. It looked like there was a giant golden hippo on the screen and I had to (laughs) see. But yeah. Uh, It's okay. Um... Chris said he doesn't like it. He, he, he was put off by it, mm-hmm. just by the vanilla, because he doesn't like the fake vanilla taste. And then he reminded me that fake vanilla can come from the anal glands of beavers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I don't think this one is. We don't have beavers in Australia. Oh, well, that's a relief we only have We only have mushies. <laughs> yeah. Got a joke. I'm not a big fan of, like, flavoured 
Pepsi Max stuff. I'd, I'd drink it. I think it's probably the biggest one would be cherry. I like... Uh, oh, you get cherry-flavoured sodas? We do. We don't in Australia. It's so sad. <laughs> we don't. We hardly even get Dr. Pepper. It's imported from the UK. Oh. See, I didn't know that. I would have to... That's the kind of thing I could put in a care package. No, there's no need. No need. Um, it's... Yeah. Yeah. Where was I going with this? Um, sodas, flavoured Pepsi Maxes. You don't oh, really yeah, like them. Oh, yeah, there was a... Uh, uh, I've also, uh, exceptions to that would be cherry Pepsi Max. And there used to be a mojito uh, Sprite. Ooh. Mojito Sprite. Yeah. yeah. That sounds good. That was good. Very... Uh, I was watching, just before we started recording, watching a YouTube video, mm-hmm. uh, Ru- Travel Ruby. Uh, oh, they're yeah. based in Vegas mm-hmm. now. Uh, they moved to Vegas and they do Vegas updates every month mm-hmm. along with like staying at hotels and reviewing restaurants and stuff. Uh, they said that there is a mojito bar opening up. Mm. Uh, and I think it might be in the Flamingo. No, no, that's the Cuban restaurant. Or it might be a Cuban restaurant with a mojito bar. Either way, I was intrigued. Oh, but, but, part of the uh, August update, she was like, the Rio is getting a bit of a facelift in some of the rooms. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they're starting to redo some of the rooms. I've and she's seen- like, which is great, because it looks like it needs an update. And Penn and Teller play there, and they deserve that. But I haven't seen the Penn and Teller show. And I was like, excuse the fuck me, what? What the fuck? Do you live in... Las Ve- you live in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, woman. You should have seen Penn and Teller at least once a month. No, she's. They said they move in. They moved in Vegas. <laughs> Brogan is taken aback. I- oh, are you okay? Is your heart okay? I'll live. I live. I'm. I'm fucking horrified. Holy I- shit! You just wiped away a tear. I, I actually scratched my nose. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, <laughs> miss, yeah. No, I, like, I, why would you not take advantage of that? Yeah, yeah, I know, right? I mean, I, I mean, travel Ruby, it's good content. Yeah. But, oh, fucking hell. Get your shit together. No, but I, yeah. I do know, I did know that the Rio was getting an update because people like to send me. <laughs> Messi yeah. specifically likes to, to tag me in anything related to the Rio, yeah. and I appreciate it so much. <laughs> I love it. I love what I see yeah. when I get tired of that. The Rio, Penn and Teller. Or the nanny content acceptable to send yes. to me. <laughs> All the nanny content. Um, hmm, I was just looking at our list yeah. and I totally forgot this was on there. Uh, this show is a bit weird. So <laughs> tell us about your weird dream. Oh, fuck. Um, yeah, I was in Vegas, of course. When you had this dream or? Yeah, uh, no, no. I, like this, this is the dream. You dreamed you were in Vegas. This okay. is the dream. And I mean, I like, like. I woke up from, so I woke up at uh, half past four today uh, because neighbours were shouting. Yep, half past four yep. a.m. Uh, neighbours were shouting. I was awake until half past six. Mm-hmm. Rolled over, went back to sleep. Woke up to take my medicine at ten, and then rolled over and went back to sleep for an hour. <laughs> yeah. Um. So at some point during the night, I had this dream where I was in Vegas. Um. I was married. I don't know who to. Mm. It's a. It was the guy. I don't, I don't know. I have no recollection of who this was. I don't know. A, a dr- the- just a dream person? Just a dream person. <gasps> it was a premonition. It was a. It was the winner of the Mouth Finger Butthole <gasps> Tournament 2024. Oh, if only I could remember their face. Mm. Uh, I could put bets on. That would be... That, would be- that, means, that means if I'm in the final, I have to throw it. I think that's, that's fair game anyway. If I'm in the final against mm-hmm. uh, an American, I have to throw it. No. But, well... Unless I'm the, like, for your easy unless green I give card. you the signal, like, mm 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 mm. Oh, okay. Because remember, the yeah. right, the person has the right to ask me. Yeah, I don't, ha- yeah. I don't have to accept. You don't even have to ask. You know, you just have the to right be honest, to. To be honest, I mean, there's another rule, and I think I'd fail it, which is, um, I'm, it must seek approval from our podcast dads. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> Isn't that true. Right? That's true. Yeah, I think Matt would just be like, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> You, uh, you, might, mean, you might be able to right bypass mind. that. You might be able to bypass that if you get permission from Brian Brushwood. If Ooh. Brian Brushwood accepts me as his bastard son. We yes. still have to check. <laughs> Family was in Vegas. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to the Ben and Teller show and my mum was like, no, we're having a family <gasps> dinner. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, I've go- I'm going to the Ben and Teller show. <laughs> Oh, okay. But then I was delighted because I was like, 
I could take mum to my stair. Mm. I could take mum to sleep in a tent. Like, great. Yep. So if if you're in Vegas and you had Penn and Teller tickets, mm-hmm. would you go to Penn and Teller yes. or would you go to dinner? That's not even a question. But the thing is, you can have an early dinner. The Penn and Teller show, pre-show jazz, starts exactly. at like eight o'clock. That's my point. Yeah. That's my your point. Your dream was, yeah, your dream was just, it was, uh, it was, it was, um, um. Out of time. No, words fail me. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. It, well, I don't know. I, when things don't make sense, they, it, it was illogical. There you yeah. go. Wow, my brain. <laughs> I think, do you know what, I'm, it, I, I was quite surprised at how delighted I was that my mum was in Vegas and I could be like, I can take you to these shows. Yeah. yeah. So, so there we go. Uh, yeah, it would definitely be interesting to go with family. It would be a different experience, that's for sure. Yeah. I, of course, would not mm. want my mother to hang around for the whole three weeks. <laughs> no. But I'd no. like, I'd, I'd like her to come at some point and mm. to take her t- to some of this. Yeah, clearly absinthe, atomic saloon. Um. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't want to have to explain that to mum. You reckon? No? Okay. No. No. No, because knowing Jacob, he would move oh. us to the front. And then you would also be walking with us going, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. bad. This, this is very, mother, very mother, bad. The mother, this is bad. This yeah. is not good mother. No, this is bad. This is bad. <laughs> yep. Oh. I haven't seen Atomic <clears throat> Saloon though, so I can't comment on that. No, no, it's it's still kind of a that that kind of show. Yeah, I don't yeah. know, sexy, whatever they would call it. Mm-hmm. I don't know how they describe it. Yeah, <sighs> but yeah, with that, my mind. I, I think I was saying uh, about last week. I was saying how I'm like not remembering lyrics and messing mm-hmm. up lyrics, like ass about face and shit. I, I'm I'm like losing so much stuff at the moment. Like the other day, I I got up to do my stream, mm-hmm. um, got my extracurricular medication, mm-hmm. had put it down, uh, went and got my coffee, and it, I didn't know where I'd put it. I was looking everywhere. It was just sitting in front of my keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was right there. Yeah. Um, I lost my keys like two or three times. Mm-hmm. Paul, and you were just... holding them. That's a that's a broken thing to do. <laughs> well. I did uh, lose. I was like, "Where the fuck are my sunglasses?" And they were in my pocket. <laughs> uh, I went to my car, took something out of it. Um, I was going to sit outside for a while, and uh, I came inside and I couldn't find it. Just, just gone. <laughs> and then I realised it was placed where I was going to sit outside. <laughs> it, it's <sighs> my head's a mess. Yeah, I, 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 it, 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 it got to be that. It's yeah, gotta, it's got to be. Um, yeah messing with me but if it's if it keeps you on the if it keeps you on the level wayne is shaking his head <laughs> <laughs> i forgot this was an audio podcast yeah. and that we're actually having a conversation i did like last week I that this is not whether, a private conversation i didn't know whether you were gonna cut what i said out because <laughs> so i was like i'm the not add to that, to that. <laughs> but yeah it's um yeah it's annoying mm-hmm. and oh yeah and that same day i was like oh shit i've only got like i've got less than a week's worth of a script left i have to make a fucking appointment for the doctor so i go make my appointment mm-hmm. for wednesday uh, eight thirty a.m <sighs> about 10 seconds later i'm like oh wait i've still got a, a script repeat left <laughs> <laughs> log back in cancel doctor's appointment <laughs> It's, it's stupid shit. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, just not, not. My head ain't there. I ain't with it. <clears throat> I've written down drug talk in our list because we were making jokes about drug, some sort, something about drugs in the pre-show, and I don't remember what it was. Hmm. Yeah. I don't right? know. That one's lost oh, well. to me. That one's lost to time. No, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna delete that one. Off You're gonna have list. a lot of editing this episode. <laughs> No, no, this is, this is, this is, this feels like a late night ICS recording <laughs> session a little bit. <laughs> um, you were talking about in the bonus content, uh, fancy cardigans. Yes, I was. Mm, yeah. I, and you want a fancy cardigans. I do want a fancy cardigan. It came up on my TikTok, as most things do. And I was like, that's fancy. Let's have a look at the shop. And I was like, there's so many fancy cardigans. Yeah. Uh, including but they're the, the ones i like are all like anime related apart mm. there's like the spider-man india one 
But the other ones are like Oren High School Host Club, uh, Sashomaru from Inuyasha, and a Third Impact one, which, if you don't know what the Third Impact is from, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Uh, I thought that was the sequel to Second Impact. It Pig is the, the sequel city. to Second Impact. <laughs> Impact 2, yeah. Pig in the City. <laughs> you get to hear a similar joke to that in the bonus content. <laughs> I think, I don't think I'm in, I don't think I'm currently the right body shape for a cardigan. I don't think I could pull it off yet. Mm. I think I need well, to lose a lot of weight. You got fancy hoodies as well. I do. And I still don't look... Yeah. Great. I, I catch sight myself sometimes and I'm like, what the fuck have you done to yourself? Oh. <laughs> uh, would, would, you ca- would, you, would you consider potatoes again? I don't. I, in an emergency. Yeah. But I don't, I don't want think it's to. worth it. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't think it's worth it. No. Um, mm. Yeah. Mom and I have talked about it. I'm actually planning on uh, reaching out to Nick at some point and asking yeah. if he can sort me a, um, an exercise plan. Yeah. Specifically one that I can do at home. So I have no yep. excuses. Oh, well, yeah. After talking with Nick, um, hey, buddy, nice, surprisingly relevant good questions. questions. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? yeah. Whatever the, whatever the episode was called, he said he can, he can cater it for, yeah. for home. So you don't have to be going to a gym. Yeah. Cause that's the thing. I, if I, if it requires going to a gym, I will make excuses. Yeah. Uh, I was saying this to mum, and mum was like, look, "You you did the you did the challenge thing at the start of the year, and you made excuses." I was like, "I was ill for the mm, long. I did it up until yeah. like the week five, like the second <laughs> last week, and I was ill." Yep. She was like, but "Were you really ill sense. or were you fake ill?" And I was like, "I was really ill." She's like, oh, okay. Yeah. It does make perfect sense that you do want to go to Nick to give you things so you don't have to go to the gym. Yeah. Because we all know that the gym is short for King Lord, Mister Doctor, Jimothy, My School, Job, Slomu, Esquire the Second. Exactly. <laughs> And we want our, we want our shit not. from Nick. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I started listening to Pod Therapy uh, again mm-hmm. like, at the current episode. So I yeah. got a uh, current backlog and my full backlog as well. Mm. And straight away I was like, this shit's too relatable. <laughs> <laughs> my mum started listening to Pod Therapy, which I found out. Yeah. It was like, oh, yeah, you're okay. Saying, yeah. And, yeah. you know, she's uh, listening to, she listened to a couple episodes of PSS as well. I was like, Oh really? I, I'm I'm liking I'm liking this that my entire okay. family is getting on board with this. Yeah, uh, uh, but uh, only listening to PSS or other stuff or. Well, there was the the Robin Romesh thing um, mm. that I said, and my mum did watch that, and she was like, "They just Penn and Taylor just seemed like nice guys, just really yeah. nice guys," and I'm like, "Aha, they are." And then yeah. I was I went to visit my grandpa yesterday. Uh, I walked in. The first thing he said to me is like, "Well, did you watch the Penn and Teller thing?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I watched all the Penn and Teller things. What, what are you talking about?" He's like, "The, the yeah. one with the with the guys learning the magic." And I was like, "Oh, you are yeah. from Romney." <laughs> so even my grandpa's watching this, and like everybody in my family is getting on board with this. It's mm. it's quite funny. <laughs> it was it was a really good show that the Robin Romesh versus it was uh, really good for the Penn and Teller. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Because I sent you that photo of, of, of me taking a photo of my television with mm-hmm. them standing on top of the parking garage. I was like, yep. that's one of my favorite places. Oh, I said that I want to, to go back. I said, I said that to someone else as well. And um, they're like, oh, wow, that's that's cool that they were filming at the at, at that exact place where, mm-hmm. that you like. And I'm like, that's all you've got to say? You've got no comment <laughs> on what uh, Rob and Ramesh are wearing? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, I didn't comment either, but I was like, we, yeah. know, we know that we watched Yeah, you've seen it already, <laughs> exactly. so you know what they were wearing. <laughs> exactly. But but yeah, and, and mum watched Reptile Dysfunction as well, but she Ooh. forgot to tell me. Oh, <laughs> I, I told her to dare. watch it. I, was, I went to remind her, I was like, you need to watch Reptile Dysfunction. And my next comment was going to be, let me know when you're free and we will watch it together. Yeah. <laughs> she it's was always like, oh, worth I another watch. I was like, uh, Okay. She's like, maybe that's why I forgot to tell you. Um, All right. Um, and uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm aware that this doesn't apply, but uh, if it did, on the Steve Zahn Moody Octopus scale, do you know what your mother would rate it? I believe that my mother would rate it Happy Octopus. Oh, good. But that's her good. comments were, now bear in mind, oh, mother is related to me. She has notes. Mother has she, <laughs> she has notes. Mother is related to me. And she watched mm-hmm. it after she watched Robin Romesh. Yes. She says, I prefer Penn and Teller. Okay, that's uh, perfectly but she, fine. But she does 
love Jade. She Who the hell does Exactly. Exactly. Because yeah. I, I actually showed her the, the Piff video as well. I showed my grandpa the oh, Piff the, video. For, from Chris. <laughs> yeah. 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 And so And everybody loves Jade Simone, of course. Who doesn't? Absolutely. So. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I, and I was just. And that was the other thing as well. Um, she was like, I can see why you think Taylor's cute. He is cute. <laughs> well, Baby I man describes him perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, you sent me that yeah. <laughs> last night. I was like, yeah, he he is perfect baby man. He's he is an angel. But, but, uh, conf- confirm what what is being meant by baby man. <laughs> We're not talking like um uh RJ Owens as baby Francois no. in the show Mystère. No, no, he's it, it's just I don't know how to, what I mean when I say it is like he's my sweet innocent little meow meow. He's a Perfect. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sweet angel yep. baby boy. He has done nothing wrong. He is cool. my perfect boy. <laughs> that was for I the mean. cheese bags. Yeah. I knew what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> but but it was my mum was uh, but it was in relation to reptile dysfunction where mum said, and we tell her down the front. Oh yeah, I can see why yeah. you think he's cute. And I'm like, he is cute. <laughs> uh and what is the verdict on Mr. Piffles? She didn't mention Mr. Piffles, actually. Mm, no comment on no, Mr. Piffles. No comment on Mr. Piffles. She said Pop was good. She said Interesting. Pop, Pop was her favourite yeah. part. But that's I think that's everybody's favourite part. Yeah. Because yeah. Penn just fucking loves doing that bit. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I I do like it when I have the dragon song stuck in my head. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just love when I randomly remember things Penn said as Pop, where he goes, Burn your whole village. <laughs> yeah, burn. Yeah. Um. Oh, there's been a lot of magic talk, hasn't there? I mean, if, I mean, magic talk. Oh yeah, it's time for an unscheduled, unannounced ad break because we were talking magic, and mm-hmm. I mean, I guess this could have been scheduled if we thought ahead to schedule it. Yeah. But there is an event happening next week. Is it next week? Well, the day that this drops is the first <gasps> day. Holy shucks! So the start. Of the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Oh. And the first the show. Edinburgh. Edinburgh. The Edinburgh. first show of Mr. Moxie Gillette and Cameron Young. Names have been reversed. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it's called Young and Moxie. Young and Moxie. <laughs> Young, and Moxie. Uh, Young Ampersand Mo- Moxie. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very excited. I have tickets for, at the time of this airing, tonight. And yeah, tomorrow I've got tickets for the first night and the second night, the Saturday, is when I'm taking my mum and dad. And the Saturday yeah. after that, I'm taking my friend Vicky. And I yeah. have tickets for the last show as well, I believe. Oh, cool. So only only four shows so far. Yeah, but yeah, it might. It, yeah, cool. You got plan? Do you, do you have plans of uh, uh yet? If, well, a Moxie is going to be pretty busy, I guess. Well, that's the thing. I'm I'm not. I'm assuming that Mox is going to be stressed out to all hell at yeah. the moment uh i'm i'm going to remind him near the time because i'm not 100 percent sure when he gets into the uk uh i'm going to drop a message say look i can pick you up that's not a problem if you want mm. uh you know if you want or need anything i am 20 minutes away uh, mox is yeah. performing at the space at the surgeon's museum is surgeon's hall in north bridge uh so that'll be good and it's You've like got to... a north bridge in Scotland, do you? Yeah. Do people get stabbed there on the reg? Probably. Okay, so <laughs> it might be like um north bridge in Perth then. <laughs> if I, if so I yeah, be... Mox, Mo- Mox and Young, if you're coming to perform in Perth, Australia, try to stay away from north bridge. Yeah. Our north bridge isn't too bad. It's up the bridges. It's, it's quite near the Royal Mile. Uh... That sounded like an Irishman saying Royal Mail. <laughs> it's yeah, it's, it's near I'm like you're Scottish, what the hell? Not Irish. <laughs> it's near Edinburgh Castle. So it's not mm, not too bad. Yeah. And like I say, it's twenty minutes from my work. I'm like, if you need me to abandon work to come and get you for any reason, if you need me to come slap a bitch, if you need me to come translate. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm there. Uh, I'm sure Mox is gonna be excited anyway to to see you to Absol- get in contact. they'll get in contact. Uh, mm-hmm. no doubt. No doubt. Yeah. I mean, you'll do see you, me the first give, night anyway. <laughs> do you want to give the dates of the Edinburgh Fringe? So Mox, uh, Mox is performing uh, 4th of August, Friday the 4th of August, to Saturday the 12th, I believe. Uh, I had this up earlier, and I <laughs> stupidly put a cardigan up instead. So 
Friday the 4th to Saturday the 12th, and then the 14th to the 26th. He's off on yes. the 13th. So. And it says, suitability 12 plus. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, who knows? I don't know what the content is like. Maybe it's not suitable for the minds of an 11-year-old. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's... Because, I mean, that's just a guideline. I'm yeah, wondering if it's worth saying to take my, my oldest baby cousin. He's 10. So. Well, once you've seen it once, you'll know. That's true. And then, if you're like, I think oldest baby cousin would enjoy this, you could just go to uh, tickets.edfringe.com and buy yourself some more tickets. Yeah. And like you should, if you are in the area of Edinburgh. Mm-hmm. Go and see Mox. Go and see Cameron yes. Young and Moxie. Kick yes. ass! We love, we love and support friends. We love and support Moxie Gillette on this podcast. You're going to do great, <laughs> buds. I believe in you. But but what do you, you don't you don't support in Mr. Young? I don't know Cameron Young. Yeah, there I, you go. That's yeah. That's the, and that is the only reason I don't mention it. Once I have met Cameron Young, he's a good Scottish boy. So mm, I have full yeah. faith. I have full faith so, that but, I will support. By default and by proxy, by proximity, he's getting Cam is getting he's getting my uh, love, and, love support. and support. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, do it. Tickets.edfringe.com. And um, I can't go, so uh, you could hold that over me and be like, <laughs> show was so good, Wayne. You should have fucking been there. You should have fucking been there. It was so fucking good. You should come with me when I go back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of going back, we should probably uh, go, go back to yeah. the show. But yeah, there's been some magic and magicians talk, I guess, this yeah. episode, hasn't there? Yeah. Been a while. Not. That's some, one of our major topics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you're wearing your Penn and Teller hoodie right now. I am. I'm wearing my Penn and Teller Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. Not my Penn and Teller live. Yeah. Nice. But, um, I've, it's cold at the moment here. So I forget uh, that you're I in go winter. through hoodies. Yeah. We are. Yeah. It rains. It rains a fair bit, which makes yeah. it hard to go walking mm -hmm. and looking at dogs. <laughs> Uh, still managing. Yeah. Um, what, 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 what did I, I went to a place called Lake Munger. Mm -hmm. I call it Lake Mungrel. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and, um, so many doggos, so <laughs> many doggos. Oh, and there's, there's a guy walking two dogs mm -hmm. and they were like poodle dogs, one <gasps> big poodle dog and one small poodle dog. Mm -hmm. And then I could see it cause I was sitting on a bench. I could see this like Australian shepherd. Just like sprinting full ball and like goes right in front of the other two dogs. And the people dog's like, what the fuck? What the hell just happened? That motherfucker just cut me off. <laughs> it was hilarious. Like a poodle dog. Mm -hmm. Poodle dogs, like, they seem kind of dumb. Nothing yeah. going on in their fluffy heads. Yeah. There's there's so nothing it there. Was but shocked. Air. It was shocked. <laughs> but no, I walked around it like three times and mm -hmm. it was eight like 8.6 kilometers Holy in total, shit. which was a good effort. Yeah. That's an and amazing it, effort. I didn't, I didn't get caught in the rain at least. Good. It was like 11,000 steps or something. I think mm -hmm. that day I did like 15,000. Um, wow. But I saw some baby ducks as well. Oh. I saw some baby ducks, fluffy baby ducks. Baby ducks. Mm. And um, uh, there was like a, because it's a lake, there's some little piers that go mm -hmm. out into it just a little bit. And um, people are always like carving their initials like T-S, heart, P-N. And I'm like, mm -hmm. gee, I wonder if T-S still hearts P-N. And, uh, <laughs> and then you look at how many times it's been painted over. It's like, wow, it's been there a while. Mm -hmm. I mean, what if P-S like did get their heart broken or hates T-N so much? Wouldn't you just come and like chip that shit out of the fucking wood? <laughs> Wouldn't you? Would you? Probably. No. Maybe. I feel like if someone wronged me, I would. I mm. don't know. But then I don't think I've ever also... been in love enough to char to carve initials <laughs> into anywhere. Yeah. I can't mm, comment. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, may maybe this piece of um wise advice is all I can say it was um was written on this uh platform. It was wanking is good for you. Yep, that's a, a life advice. Fair enough. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't know why that is what someone chooses to graffiti. That's like was this carved or was this like spray painted? No, it was painted. Okay, it was painted. so that's at least I was going to say that's a lot of effort to go to for yeah, something or, random. Yeah. Yep. It's like it. It always confuses me, right? Working on building sites, lots of these construction guys, mm -hmm. and it's like. 
they're always just drawing dicks everywhere. Yeah. And being construction, there is like a lot of homophobia mm -hmm. getting spewed all the fucking time. Like, why aren't you like drawing boobs, guys? Mm -hmm. Me thinks. Oh, gosh. Me thinks the, the construction men doth protest too much. Some, yes. Sometimes they forget that um, there are other people mm -hmm. in the building and uh, they don't realize how loud they're talking. Because uh, I was sitting in a room with a guy I hadn't met before, but working together, mm -hmm. uh, a younger guy. Um, and then you hear these two like Aussie blokes chatting. <laughs> and um, earlier on, I could hear them listening to a podcast. Uh, it was... Joe Rogan. No. Good. It was... Uh, fuck, what's his name? I've forgotten it. Aussie comedian. He's from Perth. He says cunt a lot. Um, Jim Jeffries? Yeah, Jim Jeffries. Uh, really? So he's, I'm pretty sure it's Jim Jeffries, yeah. That was he's, a he's the Aussie, Aussie. Yeah, yeah, pretty sure it's Jim Jeffries. He's got a pod podcast. Oh. Jim Jeffries. Yeah, I've seen Jim Jeffries. I went with Ryan. Uh, I mean, entertaining show, but yeah. not a fan of Jim Jeffries for reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, ICS related. Uh, if oh, you don't yeah, know, yeah, I'll tell yeah. you later. Yeah. Um, and the the kind of people who call into his show seem like dickheads. Even though Jim Jeffries isn't doesn't like hold those same views, he's yeah. not a Joe Rogan. Mm -hmm. Basically, I thought I was listening to them listen to Joe Rogan with what the fuck they were saying. Right. right. They went through about thirty different topics in the span of five minutes. What? Yeah. Right. Uh, and we we we're, we're talking going from like homophobic slurs to um the little mermaid the new little mermaid to trans kids uh, it, it was it was like they know so much but so little about everything yeah it's like when they were talking about the little mermaid uh reboot movie mm -hmm. They're like, I mean, it's fine if you want to like reboot the movie and have like fucking, you know, live action. But like, people are complaining, and it's like, oh, it's not because she's a black chick. But why, why do they have to go and change the story? Like, what the fuck are they doing changing the story? And it was at that point that I said loudly, oh, yes, it was much better when it was a young teenage girl having sex with this <laughs> prince man or whatever the fuck it is. I was like, why do they have to go and change the story? Oh, have you read the Hans Christian Andersen original tale? Mm -hmm. I sure haven't. I don't know what's changed. Maybe Disney changed it from the fucking original to suit their cartoon version. And they're like, hey, you know what? Let's be more true to the original story. And change some things up a bit you know have the dad more angry that the daughter is trying to go off and leave the under the sea world mm -hmm. it's like <laughs> it's so fucking stupid <laughs> and the guy i was working with was, he, he's the one that said sometimes they just forget that other people are around yep i i mean i was work, like the other guy that was there was, i think i've talked about him before mm -hmm. uh yeah oh, he, oh if I was yeah, with yeah, him, yeah he probably would have fucking joined in with them mm -hmm. and yeah Oh. oh, God's sake. <laughs> I think this came from talking about hoodies. Yeah. <laughs> I, think I don't so. know anymore. <laughs> I'm so lost. Because uh, that wasn't on my list, and I remembered mm -hmm. it as we were talking about. What were we talking about? I don't know. Uh, I got a new that, book. Else is... uh, do you know what? I'll, I, 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 don't I got a new book that I've been quite is excited it for. It's called Camp Damascus. Damascus, yes. I, that was not divination, people. I could see the book on the bookshelf. Wait, Wayne can see the bookshelf behind me, <laughs> oh, and it is. Oh, Chuck, I thought it said Chuck Polinick, and I was like, the new Chuck Polinick's not out. No. But, uh, Chuck Tingle. Chuck Tingle. Camp Damascus. Are mm. you aware of Chuck Tingle's work? The Tingle verse? All I think is, is Tingle from Legend of Zelda, so no, <laughs> I'm not familiar. Chuck Tingle uh, has risen to internet fame with his Tinglers. <laughs> Which, I think you've told me about this. I think I'm still yeah. doing this. Mm. When, like books with titles like "Pounded in the Butt by My Own Self Consciousness." Yes. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. So this is his first a uh, horror book, Ooh. and it's got it's had really good reviews. So I'm I'm excited to to read this because although I haven't actually read any of Chuck Tingle's work, um, mm -hmm. from what I understand, although it sounds like joke titles. It's all very genuine work. It's all very, yeah. you know, genuinely written. And it's like, people are like, like there's memes where it's like, I started reading, uh, me reading Chuck Tingle for a laugh. And then me at the end of book three of Harriet 
Porber the trans wizard. Like, <laughs> 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 so what you're saying is um, when we do the getting to know you quiz, revisit, revisit, mm-hmm. that might be in your favorite books list. It could well be. It could well be. I'm quite- oh, my God. I know your. Fa- I, I know what should be in your favorite book list. What should be in my favorite book Fucking list? Fucking random. <laughs> oh, I. I don't. How did count- we not have random? Why in did our we not list? have random? Yeah. Oh, you, hang on. You were about to say you don't count that. I because I, I feel like because I put it in the same as. Did I not? Did by I not say that? Dad. It's kind yeah. of weird. Yeah. I mean, because yep. I kind of put it in all the the Penn and Teller books together. I don't yeah. really count yeah, them okay. in any set in any ranking list. All right. All right. Okay. I'll allow it. <laughs> But yeah. Pass. So yeah, I'm quite I'm quite excited for this. I haven't this is the first physical book that I've bought in a while. Since uh, random? No, no. No, that's not true. You bought physical books in Las Vegas. Yes, I think since Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah. So since uh April. <laughs> yeah. May, possibly even. Yeah. But it's the first one that I bought that I'm like because <sighs> I I've got the the one I got in Vegas. I mean, I bought, I'm not counting manga in any of this at all, or okay, comic yeah, books. Yeah. Um, I bought one book in uh, Vegas that was the first one of the Witcher series, mm. uh, because I liked the cover. And I do plan on reading them, but I really do, I really do like um, that cover. Have you not heard the idiom, don't judge a book by its cover? You should judge a book by its cover, because that's the whole fucking point of a book cover. <laughs> <laughs> and that's coming from someone who's worked in a bookstore, people. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. So, bookstore slash coffee shop. Yes. So I'm quite... Yeah, I'm, I haven't re... Uh, hang on. I'll show you a picture of uh, Chuck Tingle. Oh, he's got a bag over his head. <laughs> he's got a bag over his head, sunglasses, and it says, Love is real. Chuck oh. Tingle is a mysterious force of energy behind sunglasses and a pink mask. He's also th- an anonymous author of romance, horror, and fantasy. Tingle was born in Home of Truth, Utah, and now splits his time between Billings, Montana and Los Angeles, California. Eh, California. Tingle writes to prove love is real, because love is the most important tool we have when resisting the endless cosmic void. Not everything people say about Tingle is true, but the important parts are. I mean... Uh, th- is he thinking is like a, a Banksy of the literary world? Is that what's going on? Or yeah, there are theories that like a uh, oh, oh god, Chris Hemsworth is Chuck Tingle or something like yeah, that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so it might be like a person of notoriety. I can say words notoriety already. It might might well be. Who's Chuck Tingle really? Mm. Uh, a Chuck Chuck Tingle actually had a podcast. I forgot about that. Oh, uh, that was. What was it? Pounded in the butt by my own podcast or something. <laughs> I do like the, that. I, yeah, that, that's literally what names. it's called. Pounded in the butt by my own podcast. I, uh, like, I do I do appreciate that. Harriet Porber and the ha, trans wizard Harriet Porber and the bad boy Velociraptor, an adult romance novel. <laughs> like, what is like the, the name? And there's asexual versions as well. A, yep. Asexual was not pounded in the butt by anything. <laughs> <laughs> Space Raptor butt trilogy, like mm. it's it's ridiculous. It you I mean, know I so Space I'm Space Raptor sounds good. Yeah, I so I'm I I do want to read them. Um, yeah, specifically yeah. Camp Damascus. Yeah, so. you have to you have to let me know if it's good. Yeah, and I might. Ob- you know what? I've got a lot of Google Play credit. Well, there I you go. Could, um, just yeah, I've got. Guess how much Google Play credit I have? Twenty dollars. Now, keep in mind, this is from doing... I don't buy credit. This is just from doing the reward surveys mm-hmm. they send out. Yeah. So, is, is that what you're sticking with? Yeah. $20. $100.08. Holy shit! <laughs> People get angry at me. Because <laughs> I got... So, it's like, how have you got that much? It's like, I, I do like... I, I get sometimes I get like four surveys a day, mm-hmm. and they can be up to fifty cents. Yeah, it's, uh, you and, might as and well. it expires as well. So I've lost credit. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's just nothing that I fucking want because mobile games suck now. Yeah, like the heyday of mobile games is long gone. Yeah, I will say that uh, there is a, a mobile game that I've got on here that I do enjoy, uh, Mighty Doom. Mighty Doom, which is essentially a Doom game, but mm. you you just use your one finger, it shoots automatically, and you just yeah. move them about the place. So I don't quite mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. I mean, I I really enjoy um puzzle games on on my yeah. phone. Mm-hmm. But now they're either paid or pay to play. 
uh, or filled with ads, and I yeah. just I don't care. Yeah. So the only game I've got that I've played recently is uh, the Scribble, sc- sc- whatever the Scribble Noughts one is, mm-hmm. uh, with it's got the first two Scribble Noughts games in it. Yeah. It's enjoyable. I love me Scribble Noughts. Um. I think it's probably time for art talk. <gasps> Talking art talk. I mean, I, I, it's listener. Don't be cheese bags. Don't be confused. You heard what sounded like the introduction to a song. That was just me going. <laughs> it wasn't the start of a song. No. Because we don't have an introduction song for art talk. No. I mean, if we did, we would play it, mm-hmm. but we just don't have one. Uh, but uh, yeah, art talk. Uh, what, what do you got for us, Brogan? Uh, I done a tech talk again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is my usual. I like tech talks because posted? they're short. It is posted. Is it po- okay? Because the last one wasn't and wasn't going to be. I think you said no. Did I send that over to you? Because that's that, Patreon. I seen fine. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but no, this one, this one's posted, and uh, it's the nanny, obviously. But Obviously. I, when I go through, like, most of my TikTok likes at this point are either, uh, I started getting a lot of Latin quotes recently to, like, badass yeah. music, and I'm like, okay. Um, like, heartbreaking quotes uh, and just weird TikTok sounds that I'm like, that would make a good Niles and CC video. Yeah. Uh, and that's if I don't get it. And, like on top of the the nanny videos that are already coming across my feed, which I love, <laughs> but specifically this one was a uh, a clip from Modern Family, which we <laughs> only spit on because, but it did not have Sofia Vergara in it, so <laughs> so I deemed ex- it deemed it acceptable. So yeah. it's it's a clip from from that with a uh, Phil Dunphy talking to another realtor and he says oh by the way if you ever disrespect my wife again i'll kill you <laughs> that sounded yeah. like a joke i will actually kill you yeah uh so it's that but it's niles <laughs> fun fact pendulet shows up in an episode of uh, modern family does he did you know that i did not know yeah that. Uh, did- and i think phil doesn't recognize him as a magician because <laughs> uh, phil's a magician and shit phil, so phil loves yeah. magic yeah yeah exactly oh and i think pen might have been playing himself can't remember i'll have to look that up but but yeah, there's that one. There's also one that's um, that I'm currently working on, which is why I needed the reference. <laughs> Call back to last episode. <laughs> why I needed the reference of the uh, someone from behind opening. Uh, that, that wasn't talked on the episode <laughs> or bonus content. Oh, right. No, <laughs> I took a reference of myself from behind uh, because I needed to, uh, to look like somebody was opening the curtains. I looked like a fat mm. Mitchell. Um, <laughs> 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 a fat short Mitchell. <laughs> What's hilarious is um, that uh, if this is someone's first episode of Hey Buddy Nice Podcast, they're thinking like Mitchell's like a derogatory term or something. <laughs> no, Mitchell is We'll just leave it at that. We'll just leave it at yeah, that, yeah. that. Leave it at that. Yeah, leave it at that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and specifically that one in my head, because <laughs> I went right back to the, to the first TikTok I ever liked and started going through them because I'm like, I wonder what I've liked in the past. Plug it in. Wayne has unplugged his headphones, so can't hear Sorry, me. Sorry, my headphones got unplugged. So he went back to the first, is what you said. Went back to the first TikTok I ever liked and was like going through mm-hmm. them just to see see what I you know, like, what what I've lost, what has been lost to time mm-hmm. in my likes. Yeah. And there was mm-hmm. this one where this girl sitting in front of the mirror recording and she's singing Reflection from Mulan. But instead of the actual mm-hmm. lyrics, what she says is, uh, who is this dumbass bitch I see staring right back at me? <laughs> Why does my reflection show that I'm a stupid ass bitch? <laughs> and I like that, and I like the thought of Cece being on a Broadway stage, sorting out mm. the stuff, pulling back Niles being on the other side of like a fake mirror. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd just be like, I fucking hate you. Fucking yeah. hate you. I know I manage you, but I fucking hate you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's their love language yeah that's how, that's how they do it exactly oh goodness um there there is some other art that you've been doing mm-hmm. uh I, we've talked about it in bonus content do we want to talk about it possibly being a thing at this stage or only if after i do some recordings um <laughs> i'm just gonna say this there is something that Brogan has written that I will be reading, right, as as if it's an audio book. And if Brogan approves, 
It's going to go up on Patreon for the patrons to listen to. We won't tell you what it is right now because it needs final approval. Yeah. But it's a possibility. Why am I no- more nervous talking about this than other art I've ever yeah. done? Mm. I don't know. It is technically art. <laughs> it's technically so. art. <laughs> it is technically art. I didn't art. know you were going to bring it up, choring. so I'm completely caught off guard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I don't think you got any other art talk to go through. <laughs> Um, I have written. I'm writing. No, this. Yeah, no, it's okay. No, wait till I've recorded it, yeah. and then we'll. So, may if I get around to it this week, uh, mm-hmm. good chance because I ain't fucking working. Um, yeah, then I'll send it to you and see what you think. Yeah, and then we'll announce it <laughs> next week. <laughs> I might. I might. If you do, I might link it on the writing and see. If you want to hear this oh, spoken yeah. by an Australian, yes. here you go. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah, well, if you've got no more art talk, I guess it's time for the podcast within the podcast. Do you not have I'm not art so talk? good at this podcast. That is no, your art talk. Nothing. That is my art talk. <laughs> yeah. I forgot how it worked. <laughs> yeah. Well, technically, no. No, let's keep talking. Mm-hmm. I, w- I was a big fan of the uh, episode 82 mm-hmm. title card, Drawn by Yourself. Oh, yeah. I forgot I did that. Yeah. It's, um, uh, I'm looking at it right now. It's the, hey, buddy, nice shout out to Brogan. Wayne is dead to me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> episode. Now, you said that you were doing it in a hurry, but you also said it took longer for you to do than you expected. So that, can- I- that statement confused me a touch. So I expected to be able to do it. So my my art doesn't. I don't take a huge amount of time when doing art. Uh, hmm. Usually maybe about two hours. This one took about three or four, which I was yep. quite surprised at. Um, so that's what caught me off guard. But and I was doing it like last minute. Yeah, uh, yeah. like sitting up in bed before I go to sleep, finishing it off. No, oh. kind of thing. <laughs> but because I had a specific idea in my head of how I wanted it to look. So, yep. for those who haven't seen it, it is uh, Piff hugging me and shoving Wayne away. And Wayne yes. is desperately clawing to get back at Piff. But no, it's it's me and Piff now. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it took, it took me ages to find a good reference for it. And the reference I found was very cartoony. It was one of these Draw the Squad yes. bases. Yeah. yeah. So, I had to edit it for that. Piff well, was What okay. I do like about it is that it... It 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 does have a different feel to normal because one it's in your newer style with mm-hmm. the coloured outlines yeah and it the cartooniness almost it, it um it portrays motion very well thank you which part like specifically which part because I would like to keep that uh and like, is like it the, with Pip's is it the face? arm out and mm-hmm. and specifically me in my pose as well yeah. is definitely uh, portraying motion. Mm-hmm. That's good, yeah. yeah. And the lean back and that. And I also find it interesting that, um, so your outlines are darker colours, right? Yeah. But the shirt that I'm wearing is black and it's, or it's a darker grey and mm-hmm. it's got a light outline. Yeah. I found that I've, when, um, I'm do, when I do really, really dark colours so that when it goes on to multiply, you can't tell. Mm. You can't differentiate the lines. Uh, I, I will put the, the outline a much lighter colour. So yeah. that it's eventually lighter than the than the thing. Yep. I sometimes I done that with the uh, Nile suit when I done when I drew him and Cece because Nile mm. suit was really really dark blue and I yeah. liked how it came out because that was that was how the whole outline thing started. Ah, yeah. I tried to emulate it a little bit like that uh, type of outline just mm-hmm. to see how it would look with just drawing anything, and I couldn't I couldn't do it because um, I was just fucking around and finding out so <laughs> it's uh, it's taken me a very it's taken me multiple attempts oh yeah get, i didn't i didn't like it until i got to doing niles mm. with it uh because i've tried all different ways and i think i've said to you before the the best way i've found to do it is to instead of doing black outlines and then coloring it into match yeah is just doing it all on separate layers matching it up and then duplicating it yeah 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 and it's uh, so the first artwork you ever asked me advice on had mm-hmm. a front-facing Piff the Magic Dragon. Yeah, and uh, 
I, I think I said one or two things. This one has got a front facing Piff the Magic Dragon. I got nothing to say. <laughs> it just, it, yeah. Do you still have a copy of that? Of the original one? Yeah. Uh, it's the three generations of Magic yeah. Dragon. I don't. I can't remember which, which version I sent you, but I, I should redo that. I can't remember what my main comment it was. Something to do with Piff's nose is what it was. Yeah, I, I remember that. Mm. I was going to ask what color. You, I was trying to. I was going to ask you what color you did my eyes, but it's probably just my monitor. But I can't tell. I can't remember what color are your eyes. Blue. They are blue. I can't. I. <laughs> See. That's not creepy at all. Oh, they're, now they're black, and yeah. I can't actually see. Uh, yeah, I just if, put my face my if I'm eye not sure, into my ring light camera, and I am blind. If I'm not sure, I usually make a person's eyes so dark, yeah, or that it almost matter. gray that you can't tell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, my eye hurts really bad now. <laughs> I can see though. That's, I wondered if I made them black. They look yeah, I think black's a good default to go to if you don't know, because it's still in the same style with like dashes. Mm-hmm. I think, let's see. Oh no, no, it's like it is like so dark blue that it's literally yeah. almost black. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> but the and little then, heart breaks uh, for you. Yeah, and then little love hearts emanating from you or Piff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> both. Between us. Probably both. Between us. Yeah. Uh and then uh the next episode, episode eighty three, mm -hmm. uh that was a very hastily put together <laughs> title card. I, I liked the picture you you took you picked. Yeah. It was my first thought. It basically is a picture of us in Vegas at Jacob the Audio Guy's house for the whiskey barbecue. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're both trying to keep out of the sun. And we're sitting almost underneath a table, yep. glaring at someone taking a photo of us. I don't but even this think photo we're glaring. Because I, I, I didn't have my you sunglasses. You were definitely glaring. I didn't have my okay, sunglasses. Yeah. So I'm like right. squinting. You're like this, though. I, it it looks like we're glaring at the person. Intently listing. Yeah. But because the photo is being taken from someone else mm -hmm. taking a photo of someone taking a photo of us, it looks like it could be an album cover. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got your hood up. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm holding some, well, it must be whiskey because it was the whiskey barbecue party. Yeah. And of course, I just photoshopped a, a birthday cake with a candle onto the table. <laughs> yeah. I think I think for, for next year, uh, for, for, for oh. next year, one of the first stops is Walmart. And I'm getting yeah. fucking uh, Pepsi Nitro. And we're like, Jacob, put these in your fridge. Mm, yes. For some reason, I thought you were going to say sunglasses. And then I thought you were going to say what next year's for the second anniversary title card could be. And I'm like, what are you talking about? It's going to be exactly the same. We said there'll be another candle. Exactly. In the cake. <laughs> yeah, it'll be exactly the same. And it'll say nice two-year podcast anniversary and episode whatever number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that will 100% be... I haven't posted that on um, all the show notes, all the bonus content for last week, so for this week. I'll do that after we're done, we're done recording. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, so, yeah. Um, look, the only reason we ended up talking about that is because I was rudely interrupted while introducing the podcast within a podcast, but not so good at this podcast. Not so good at this. The first comic we're looking at today is comic number 434, working title, Take Me Demon. It's four panels long, and in the first panel there's a woman, and she's shouting at what appears to be a shadowy, cloudy demon. And she's saying, take me now, shadow demon. And in the second panel, the demon flies into her head with a shwoop. Then third panel, the demon, whoosha, and straight out of her head. And the demon says, what the fuck is going on in there? I know, right? She says. That's the comic. And that's big thanks to patron Andrea A, who only gets possessed by artisan free-range demons. <laughs> it took a long time to get that demon how I wanted it to look. Mm -hmm. And it's not even... He I think I sad. ended up settling. But that's the idea. Because it's like, what the fuck is going on in there? It's like, yeah, I know, right? And that face, that face has a name now, because you got like wibbly eyes. You got wibbly eyes. You got noodle arms. Mm -hmm. This is a modified strongman pose here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but that mouth has got a name as well. I like naming things. Yeah, I did. A, I did. A, I did a, a double wibble eye for the first time mm. last comic stream. So that's where the eye goes. So it's got one little uppy there. It's got two uppies. Oh, yeah, right. That's 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 next level shit. That's a. Uh... That's a camel eye as opposed to a dromedary eye. Yes. 
<laughs> dromedary. Not so good at this. And the other comic we're looking at today is comic number 435, working title Decay, and it's three panels long. In the first panel, we see three people. Two of them are, li are alive. One of them has a bleeding hand. The other is a person looking on a bit stu stupefied. I'll say stupefied. And the third person is dead in a body bag. And the person with the bleeding hand says... This dead guy's particles are now in my bloodstream. I have gained his powers. And in the second panel, uh, the stupefied person responds, What power did you gain? And in the last panel, the guy says, Slowly decaying. <laughs> That's the comic. And I was forced, that's right, forced to draw this comic by patron Jesse M, who threatened to make me decay if I did not comply. Yes. Oh, here is, uh, here, I'm going to apologise on this platform to my patrons who I owe multiple, multiple comics to. <laughs> it's been tough. It's been tough. I've, I've, I've even got like eight to ten comics completed that I haven't posted on Patreon. Wow. Yeah. It's, yeah. But it's, I'm still doing comics, but I think it's a bit overwhelming mm -hmm. at the moment when, when I look at my backlog. <laughs> to steal of, of words. Old stuff. To steal words of wisdom from mm -hmm. Piff the Magic Dragon. Art is hard. Yeah, <laughs> correct. It is. Um, where are we going? Stop shooting scare. Yeah. So that, that's 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 the art talk is all done. And you know what? I think I think we're done as well. This I might be so, a shorter yeah. episode. I mean, there's other stuff that we could talk about, but I'm happy leaving it. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Hmm. Well, uh, look, I don't I don't say this very often uh, when it comes to the self promotion part of the episode but uh you just heard me there thanking patron of not so good at this jesse m uh who forced me to draw a comic you can i, I know i was just saying i'm overwhelmed with how much <laughs> i got to do but you can support me which is it, 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 yes I do, I do get around to doing it and it's not like i mean you'll only lose your um rewards if i die or something yeah so let's hope I'm not at risk of that. Uh, but just for a couple of bucks, you can see every comic before everyone else. And by the sounds of things, you're they're about to see like ten new comics, <laughs> and that is that, and they've already got about fifteen or twenty in mm -hmm. the backlog that they're looking at before the rest of the world. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Patreon.com forward slash nice pod bud. That that helps me out. Um, but you can also support Brogan, who deserves the support for actually fulfilling art orders. <laughs> yes, uh, the best place you can support me is uh, at my online store, 7 billion needles.com. Buy yourself a treat yourself. Tote. Treat yourself. And what I will say, I, I've neglected to say this last time, um, if, if you go to my store and you want to buy something and you're like, and the shipping puts you off, now don't get me wrong, I understand that international shipping mm. is a pain in the arse i hate the fact that it's so expensive but especially Absolutely. especially when it comes to prints the stickers aren't too bad but if you're like actually i can i can afford the sticker i just can't afford the shipping mm. uh what to do is if you put in the ics code for the hotel then you will get free shipping now the caveat being uh, I, we're not telling people that code I, they have to listen to ics to get that code do you remember the code of course I do. Sing it. Sing it, bitch. <laughs> I've been watching the bucket. I watched episode one of the bucket show. Oh, <laughs> so good. Uh, I was seeing if I've still got it on my thing, but I don't. Hang on. So you're asking me what the code is. You're, you want me to sing it. I'm not going to sing it, Brogan. But I did make this handy video, which we'll post, well, which I already have posted, uh, for you to remember what that code is. Superman, you cat woman. <laughs> The number 23. Penis. I'll just play that once. <laughs> You're not sharing audio you can so hear I can hear. Um, oh, that's a shame. But what I will oh, no. also Brogan say... Couldn't, Bro no, no, no. Brogan couldn't hear it. And that's unfair to Brogan. Brogan <laughs> deserves to hear it. So we're going to play that again. <laughs> Superman, you cat woman. That's everybody. The number 23. Penis. <laughs> yeah, there it is. What I will also say is um, I will give Wayne the other codes the other discount codes to my shop to put on patreon so you can get other oh, okay cool yeah other discounts but, but yes. anyway the code that people are using is scfe 23 p yes which will get you free shipping but the caveat being it will be delivered to you at scoop fest 2024 yeah so it's hand delivered shipping is it what is it hand is hand delivered and if for any reason you can't make it to 
you you do that and you can't make it to Scoop Fest, we will sort something out because I can guarantee you it will be cheaper to ship it in the US. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. They got flat rate packaging. Fuck yeah. It's, yep. A lot better. And I'm flat. I would uh, like to add some more stuff to there. So the more support there's on there, I'm specifically looking yeah. at pin badges. Ooh, mm. pin badges. Yeah. I do like me a pin badge. Mm-hmm. I've got some not so good at this ones. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, oh you, you said treat yourself. And you can treat yourself over at nicepodbud.com forward slash store. Uh, that link may or may not work because I haven't checked the redirects after <laughs> transferring our website to new hosting. I should probably do that before this episode comes out. Uh, we haven't put any mer- new merch up for a while, but we do have a design from Chris the Microscope, which I'm very fond of, which will get up there. It will go up there and you'll see on social media where, where when you can buy it, when it's available. And that is just by following us at nicepodbud on social medias. And you can also find Brogan on social media at 7 billion needles. And you can find Wayne on social media at Wayne Geo. Mm, correct. Uh, I almost did the hmm thing, which I haven't done in a long time now. I'm very glad that I didn't. I just went for a confirmation with words. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by and having a listen. As always, stay fresh, cheese bags. Mm-hmm.